Hey everyone, it's DSM Mandy. Today I'm here to answer all the most Google questions about me. Let's get into it. Happened to Mandy. It says, uh, unfortunately for fans, they won't be seeing the trio compete anytime, like again anytime soon. Scars officially announced that Mandy was leaving the organization and taking a break from competitive play. Uh, I just want to take a break real quick. I just want to, uh, you know, like do something else with my life, try some content creation, not only Apex oriented and uh, yeah, but you guys will still be seeing me in competitive one day again. I promise you that. Um, I'll be taking hell spot, you know? He's kind of washed. <laughs> so yeah, he went from uh, mouse and keyboard to controller, it's going downhill from now. So yeah. Why Mandy left Scars? There's a lot of reasons why I left Scars, but I feel like uh, me and the boys, me and our parents, Ashin, we, we kind of were on like a downhill slope. And um, we've been good friends, like almost brothers for the last two and a half, three years. And I didn't want to ruin a good relationship with two of the f my most favorite people in esports just over like the game. So we all talked about it and we came to the conclusion that it was our time to departure from each other and just like explore new things. So no hard feelings or bad feelings between us and they're my boys. Esports.gg wrote, um, also leaves RPR and Taishin. It's kind of a little bit rough, dude. It makes you seem, seem like the bad guy, but yeah, they just write a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. They had a, I had an interview with them and yeah, I just, I spoke with them about our relationship with me and the guys, some of the sacrifices I had to do to stay with them. But we also had a good run, like winning champs, all the, all the good stuff, winning a bunch of tournaments together, staying through thick and thin, like getting dropped from orcs because we didn't want to leave each other and stuff, not taking um, some crazy opportunities each of us had. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, let's see. Monday. Monday. That's what, yeah, that's what, that's what a lot of people call me. They call me Monday or Mandy, but correct pronunciation is uh, men. It is a Danish word, but nobody can say it. So I don't really, I don't really care how people say it. So I'm more of like a, you just call me Mandy, Monday, whatever you want. Men. It comes from a word, men What does that mean? <clears throat> the defier of men. It's like a, <clears throat> men is like manly things. So if I say, men is go, it's like shoes for men. So it's more like they, yeah, it's a super bad name, but uh, it's okay. It's my name now. Where is Apex Mandy from? Danish. Mikkel Mandy Hestbeck, born 11th August, 1997, is a Danish player who last played for Alliance. That is me. I am from Denmark, born and raised. I've lived in other countries my life, but I am mainly from Denmark and my family is too. So yeah, Danish Viking blood. Like when I speak to some other people about uh, gaming, they were always like, yeah, I like kind of hid it from people in high school and stuff, but everyone played games in Denmark. So it was more like a natural, like a natural thing to just play video games and stuff. It was nice, happiest country in the world. And we're super small, six million people population, and we're just dominating everywhere. So yeah. Where does Mandy live? Okay, dude, the Mandy people. I forgot about that. It is a uh, tribe in the Western Sudan. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And they, and they speak Bozo language too. It's kind of wild, but um, yeah, I live in Denmark, uh, Copenhagen. I of course don't wanna like, Docks myself, but uh, Denmark, Copenhagen is where I live. Yeah, just a, the normie place to live in Denmark. How much does Mandy make? Earnings by year, esports earnings. That's a good one. I have a total prize money earned of $132,000 from 20, no, tw yeah, 27 tournaments. Um, that is, of course, not all my income. I also have income from Twitch and YouTube, Mandy net worth. 
Uh, my net worth is two thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars. That is what. That's why. They updated my age though, so it's not because they haven't updated the website, but that's uh that's my celeb net worth apparently. Phil, wait, Philip Dosen. He doesn't even have one. Oh my god, dude, dude, I'm more famous than Philip is. That's crazy. Mandy H. Uh, I'm not 39 years old. Joe Mandy, American comedian. That is me. What is that picture, dude? What? No shot. Oh my god. Yeah, that's unlucky. You don't... Wait, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Definitely a mindset. How tall is Mandy Apex? I don't think it says on any website. Let me look. Yeah, but no, I am 195 centimeters uh, or 65 if you use uh, American numbers. Mandy Apex girlfriend. No stuff. I got one one post of my Twitter with me like makeup on, where my girlfriend did my makeup one day. It looked kind of nice. Not gonna lie, but I turned her in. I converted her. She went from super normie to Twitch Apex. Apex person now, so that's kind of nice. That's good. Why did Apex Mandy get disqualified? Oh, Scars are playing with a sub as Mandy is disqualified due to post, post positive a positive COVID test. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We went to um, Sweden, LAN, and unfortunately I got COVID and I wasn't allowed to play. So um, that's why I got disqualified. I didn't do anything wrong or anything. I just got unlucky, RNG, RNG wise. Scar struggles. Also seem to be feeling the effects of not having Mandy on the team with the usual team chemistry lacking. They seem headed for the loser's bracket, but with the extra game will be a benefit of them. Scars can take the time to review their games and arrive tomorrow with a better understanding. I don't want to say that the backbone of the team, but I'm good at keeping the vibes up and good at like, um, making everyone like think more positive and like maybe some bad situations. And uh, yeah, it definitely helps a lot when you're not uh, performing as well as you want to. <laughs> Why is Apex Mandy so annoying? Reddit, no shot. Someone wrote, Mandy is the most talented player in the, in, in the player pool. It's no surprise he is an LGS champ. I take him freestyling over anyone. And then people are just telling me to stop using my alt account because they think I'm the one that wrote it. I see why people uh, think I'm annoying. Um, if you look at the average Apex streamer and pro, they're more just like a, oh, thing for the 50 gifted, uh, thing for the five gifted, you know, they don't really talk. I try and try and put on a show and stuff every single time I, I click start streaming. So, um, and I also have a ton more energy and I say a bunch of stuff that other people wouldn't say, so. Hey, dude, come here, bro. Let me do something for you. Mm. Oh, give me a kiss. Hey, yo, <laughs> bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> what the heck? You know, there's always gonna be people that don't like you. Did Apex Mandy play Overwatch? Apex Mandy definitely played Overwatch. That is where I came from. I was decent. I wasn't crazy good, but I was like top 500. I never, uh, I never got to play in Overwatch League. And I was a semi-pro, playing with some friends from Denmark. But yeah, I came from Overwatch. It's one of the one of the best games out there. Or it was. I enjoyed a lot of a lot of my time playing it and made it a lot of good friends. What is my favorite story from playing Overwatch? There's this one team that we always rivaled against called BBS Adventure. And we just never, like, we can never beat them and we can never, like, win against them. And then, um, and then the last contenders we played together, we played against a team called Movie Star Riders. And they were insane at the game. And we won against them in a 3 2. And that was the most hype thing we ever had in our life. Because we were just six kids that went to school and just played Overwatch in the evening while they were, like, paid thousands of dollars a month to play the game. So yeah, I think that was kind of cool that we, um, we beat some of like the, the really good people at the game. Even 
even when we were just like a, a bunch of kids that just went to school normally and didn't spend half the time they did. Mandy Apex Mouse. Dude, I hacking love Logitech Super Light. Apex Mandy DPI. 800 DPI, 1.5 in game, 1000 Hertz. It's true. I use, I've always used 800 DPI in every single game I played. And yeah, I don't see a reason to switching it at all. Yeah, 800 DPI, 1.5 in game. Best, best sense in the world. I, I just, I, I arrived at the settings by taking my, my Overwatch sense and I just converted it. And I just played with that ever since. I haven't, I haven't switched it. I switched it two times, but I switched it back on the same day. So yeah, me personally, I, I like playing with the same sense so I could stay consistent. Will Apex Mandy ever come back? Esports GG again. Let's see if we can find a different article about something. Um, um, there's a lot of people that asked about it, uh, if I'll ever come back, because I know there's a lot of people out there that think that I'm a very good player and I deserve to play with a good team. Um, they want to see me compete because I know there's a lot of people out there that like watching me compete because I'm probably not the most traditional competitor in Apex. And if I find people that want to play with me and that wants to put in as much effort and work as I do, I definitely could see myself coming back to Apex and play competitively. And if people need um, some stand-ins. My word, what a play that was. Exit, gone, and maybe now the door is open for Alliance, the European powerhouse, to come in and clean up. It's not so easy though, smoke stood down. They get it, Alliance, from top of the wheel. Get it done, get on your chair. Mandy popping up. For tournaments and stuff, I would more than happily be, be there to help and support whoever needs it, of course. So maybe if I stand in for a team, you would see me compete again in a big tournament. Well, that was it. I hope you guys got the answers you're looking for. If not, you can always uh, go down to the comment section, leave a comment below, and I can answer the questions at another time. Remember to like and subscribe also, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's the most important one. Dude, I'm so bad at sell out in there. Dude, that's crazy. You guys see the fun fresh clothes, dude? Oh my god, dude. Sheesh. Okay. Um